Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, excellent. I'm sorry, people, that I came like a minute late, right? But I was about to start, and then the computer got crazy, and could I couldn't start on time. But I'm happy to see you here, everybody else. So let's see who is already in the class. So you can see uh, Neftali, good evening, Mr. Pardo, David, Erling, Irma, good evening, Jose Francisco, good evening. Marta, hello, Mauricio. Um, let's see this one, William Giovanni, hello. Well, I can see a lot of people already here, yeah, thank yeah. you. Raul, Sandra, um, who else, who else I can see here? All right, hey, good evening, good evening, good evening. All right, let's start right now. So we are going to continue with this one. All right, everybody, so today um, I'm happy to tell you that we are going to start with um, unit number two. All right, so remember, if you have your manuals, we can continue with the unit number two so we can start, um, you know, with the exercises for today. That way, empezamos la unidad number two. All right, para que veamos con el manual por ahí y vayamos desarrollando los exercises as well. All right, so let's start right now, people. Before Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, Jose. How are Good you? evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, before we start with like the topic for today, we are going to have this one, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at tongue twister. Tongue twister, tongue twister. All right. So do you know what is a tongue twister? Hello? Yes or no? Any idea? Yes. Tongue twister? What is a tongue twister? No, teacher. No? Don't worry. A tongue twister? Yes, Mr. Pardo is a trabalenguas, all right? So it's what we have right here. So take a look at this one. It says, let me help you with the pronunciation and pay attention because you are going to repeat it in a couple of minutes, all right? So let's see this one right here. It says, six, sick, hicks, nick, six, Slick, bricks with picks and sticks. Ha, easy, right? So as you can see, the words are similar, but we are going to practice the pronunciation of all of them. And the challenge is that you need to uh, pronounce it faster, all right? So for example, six, sick, hicks, nick, six. Oh, sorry, got here, sorry. Six, Sorry, six, six, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with six and sticks. All right, so like that. All right, what about you, everybody here? Uh, and do I have a volunteer? Who are repeating this tongue twister? <laughs> All right, so hmm, let's see. Any volunteer? Oh, let's use the chat, no problem. All right, so. Let's see, my first volunteer will be the uh, last person who sends on the chat how much is two plus two? Two plus two, what is plus? Two plus two, what is it? Yes, Mr. Pardo, very good. Carla, you got it, uh-huh. Four, thank you, Irma, Daniel. All right, so William Giovanni, Marta, Marisol. Uh -huh. Let's see this one. Maurice Urbano, Maria. Excellent. The last one, the last one, the last one will be Oscar. All right, let's see. Okay, okay. Let's see what else, what else, what else. Thank you. All right. The last person here, it's Oscar. But Oscar says here that he's just listening to the class today, meaning that he cannot participate. So, Mr. Mauricio Rano, you're the last one, all right? So, let's see. Do you need help with this one? Yes or no? With the pronunciation? Yes. Okay, yes. All right. Go ahead, please. Uh, six, six, 
heat, mix, six, six, bring, with, six, and six. There you go. Excellent. Can you do it a little bit faster? Like six, six, hick, sneak, six, leg, bricks, with, picks, and sticks? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Six, try it. Try it. Try it. Come on. You can do it. Six, with, pick, and six. All right. Excellent. Now, Mr. Ruano, you are going to select the next person. Ah, okay. okay. Um, Hi, everybody. Woo. Um, Look at Erlin, very comfortable. Sandra y Emilia. All right, so Sandra, hello, Sandra. Hi. All right, Sandra, it's time for <laughs> you to put into practice your pronunciation, all right? Ready? Ready. Excellent, Hi. all right, so go ahead. <clears throat> sí, so grandes. <laughs> okay. Six, six, hicks, nick, six, six, slicks, bricks, wicks, picks, and a six. There you go. Excellent. Nice. All right. So very good. Thank you. Sandra. <laughs> You're doing good. All right. And Twister. Now, okay. Sandra, you have to select someone. Ah, la parte más interesante. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. Um, Irma, Noemi. Irma, yeah, that's a good decision. All right. Let's see. Hello, Irma. Hello. All right, Irma, are you ready? Okay. Six, 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 hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks, wheat, picks, and sticks. Excellent. Super good. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. I liked it. I liked it. All right. So now, Irma, you have to select the next person. William Giovanni. Hi. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, William. Good evening. Go ahead, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Six, six, hicks, nick, six, slick. Bricks, wheat, picks, and thick. Thank you. That was actually super, super good. All right. So you see, it's easy, right? My help me out because I'm a ton twister and it's very easy. All right. So, William, next person, William. Uh, Mauricio. All right. Mauricio? Mauricio Rano? Yes. But he already participated. Mm, yes, teacher. Yeah. Another person. Perdón, es José Francisco. Oh, okay, ha, ha, José. José was there like, no me, please. Okay. All right, so. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Six, 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 The microphone, Jose. Excuse me. No problem. Oscar Giovanni. Oscar Hello, Giovanni. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Hello. All right. Let's start right there, right. Oscar. Okay. Okay. Uh, six, six, Hicks, Nick, six, Slick, Bricks, Wheat. Picks and sticks. Excellent. Easy. Very good, Oscar. Now we go with you and select the next person. You know, Oscar, pay attention to the uh, list. Esos que, esos que están en la lista que no dicen oyente, pero que tienen cámara apagada. Ajá. All right. So Daniel see. Castro. Daniel Castro. Let's see, Daniel. Okay. Six, 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 slit, bricks, grid. Picks and sticks. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. The next person, please. Yeah. Nancy. Nancy. All right. So let's see. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. 
Nancy, good evening. Okay. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Six, 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 and six. There you go. Easy, right, Nancy? Thank you very much. All right. Nancy, you're going to be the last one, but um, I don't know if I have a volunteer before we go with that one. No? Hi. David, you want to be the volunteer? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Six, sick, hick, nick, six, slick, bricks, with, picks, and sick. And sick. All right. Thank you. That was a good try. All right. So we're doing a good job. Mr. Pardo says that he's sick, that that's why he cannot participate. And okay, no problem. Vamos a pedir un audio en el grupo cuando ya se recupere. All right. So okay. let's see. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. All right. So let's just continue with the topic for today. You were doing a very good job. All right. So thank you. No problem, he said. Excellent. That's the attitude. Positive attitude. All right. So let's see this one right here. Okay. Now, people, we are going to start answering these questions we have right here. Take a look. All right. It says we have three different questions. So we're going to start practicing. All right. So and it's this one right here. The first one. Do you often attend seminars? Repeat it, everybody, please. Do you often Do you attend, attend, often attend often seminars? seminars? There you go. Excellent. Yes. So, well, remember that seminars, what is a seminar? Mm -hmm. It's very similar to Spanish. So what is it? Seminarios. Yes, like conferences as well. Like, for example, meetings when you go and work with other colleagues. All right. So... Etc. Right. So, do you do you do that? Do you attend? What is the meaning of attend? Let me just use the chat right here. All right. Attend. What is it? Asistir. Yes, that is correct. But asistir meaning going to a place, not help. Okay. No nos confundamos en que asistir como ayudar, like help. Uh -uh. That would be like attend is to go to a different place. All right, como ir a un seminario. Very good. So, and uh, in this one, it will be like, a, for example, here. Um, I don't know if you go like how often. What's the meaning of that question? Like how often? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Like the frequency. All right. So how often do you go? Okay. Exactly. That is correct. All right. So, for example, you wanna do you often attend seminars or not? Um, every every uh, 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 Okay. No problem. I'm going to teach you how to say that. So you can say twice a year, like that one. Take a look. Twice a year. Twice a year. There we go. The meaning of twice is no basis. Like expression completa, the complete expression will be twice a year. All right. Twice a year. Very good. Excellent. All right. So then it says here, um, you know, you can say something simple as that. You know, uh, twice a year, once a year. I would say, for example, una vez, it would be once a year. All right. Una vez al año. You go on this one right there. Once a year and twice a year, dos veces al año, right? Eh, okay, but I have a question for you. Ya sabemos, everybody, all right, that says, una vez al año, how do you say that in English? Once a year. Very good. Dos veces al año? Twice a year. Twice a year, yeah. very good. How do you think you can say tres veces al año, cuatro veces al año, cinco veces al año, etc.? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Twice a year. Mm, that would be like dos veces al año. No, twice. Twice. Uh -huh. twice. Oh, twice. You know what? Twice. The expression twice a year exists, all right? So existed yeah. right hey mr pardo thank you very much for that example it says right there 
five times a week. Desde el tres en adelante, we can is, uh, use the numbers and say the expression times. All right, so three times, four times, all right, all right, five times, etc. right? So it's just like tres veces, cuatro veces, cinco veces, and then we change a year, a month, etc. So for example, how do you say diez, perdón, siete veces al mes? How do you say that in English? Mm -hmm. Siete veces al mes. How do you say that in English? Seven times a month. Seven, seven. seven times a month. Very good, Nancy. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you, everybody who participated with the microphone open. All right. So thank you. Yeah, that's it. All right. So we can use those expressions to answer the question number one. Do you often attend seminars? Yes. Once a year. All right. Or yes, twice a year. And then you can give more details. For example, I go to a meeting at Hotel Continental, for example, or a, et cetera, right? Yes, Raul, tell me. Hello, Raul? Raul, Raul? Do you have a question, Raul? Hello. Hola, hola, teacher. No, uh, sí, se, por error la puse. Oh, okay. Don't worry. No problem. All right. So let's continue with this one. That's the question number one. Question number two. It says here, is it easy for you to socialize? All right. Socialize. All right. At those events. All right, everybody. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Repeat it, please. Thank you. All right, excellent. So, do you understand the question? Who can help me to translate it into Spanish? Let's see. Te resulta fácil socializar en esos eventos. Exactly, right? So, like, for example, you can say, um, I will give you an example, right? It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me because I am a shy person. Like this one. It is not easy for me because I am a shy person. All right. Oops. I'm missing a letter. Excuse me. I'm missing a T here. All right. This one. Sorry. All right. So it says like that. Yeah, it's not easy for me because I am a shy person. All right. Or you can say the opposite in a positive way. It's easy for me. Right. Because... I am an easy going person. Hey, everybody. Now, let me ask you this one. What is the meaning of shy? Timido. Mm -hmm. Timido, very good. And outgoing or easy going, sorry. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? So, are you a shy person or an easygoing person? Shy person. Oh my God. All right. So, and the rest, are you shy or are you an easygoing person? Shy. I'm easygoing. Easygoing. Excellent. All right. So, you go to a meeting and you start talking to everybody, right? So, that's nice. Very good. So we can actually say that one, right? Or give other reasons, you know, para explicar. It is fácil or no socialize on those events. All right. And the last one, how of, I'm sorry, how do you usually break the ice? Repeat it, everybody. How do you usually break the ice? All right. Excellent. Break the ice. It's an expression in English. It means? Romper el hielo. There you go, exactly, romper el hielo. And you know, that's the meaning of this one. Oh. Like to break the ice, right? It's just like 
to start a conversation with another person, right? So uh, in your cases, people, how do you usually break the ice? I will give you my example. So I ask for the time, you know? Like, hello, what time is it, all right? Well, excuse me, what time is it? Or sometimes we are Salvadorians, right? And we make some comments like, it's hot here now, nah? right? So we make those type of comments here so we can start the conversation saying those things. What about you? Do you ask those type of questions when you want to try to start a conversation? Uh-huh, Erling, tell me. Uh, well, uh, when I uh, try to break the ice, mm -hmm. I, I do a prank. Okay. For example, yes, right. uh, for example, hey, what's going on here or, for, or something like that. It depends on the events. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Just remember, Erin, you don't do a prank, you make a prank. All right. There you go. Excellent. Yeah, that's another way, but some people may be angry because of the prank, right? So, yes. Okay, everybody, now it's your turn to practice, okay? We are going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to have a conversation with those three questions so you can give those answers, right? And if you need help, you can let me know. But before you go to the breakout rooms, let me check attendance. All right, so let's see this one right here. Let's see this one. Yeah, here is one second, people. All right, today that's it. Abner, please say present. Present, teacher. Thank you, Abner. Alexa, Alexa, Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you. There you go. Oh, you can liberate them. All right. So Alexa Marcela is who present, right? So very good. Ana yes. Lisa, present teacher. Thank you. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Oh. All right. No. All right. So let's do this one. Giving Eduardo Santos. Very good. Thank you for saying present. Andrew. Andrew Pardo is here. Present. Yeah. He was participating before. David. Hello, David. Present teacher. Thank Hi, you. present teacher. Um, Neftali. Medina. Neftali, Neftali, it says present there or not? Yes, yes, thank you. All right, so uh, Erling, yeah, I was participating right now. All right, thank you. Uh, Irma? Present teacher. Excellent, super energy. Jose Daniel? Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco? Present teacher. Carla Milena, thank you. Carla Milena? Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Eduardo Cortez is expressing in the chat. Luis Humberto González. Luis Humberto González González. No yet. All right. María Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so Mr. Luis Humberto. Oh, aquí está, every present. Thank you, my friend. Ya lo corregimos. All right, so it says right here. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Katia. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so let's see this one. Raúl Mauricio. Ramírez. Present, present. Thank you. Sonia Maribel. Present teacher. All right. William Giovanni. Present. 
Thank you. All right, so I already checked. No me mencionó a mí. Uh, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. ¿Cómo no, Sandra? Sandra y Amilet. Vamos a ver. Yes, Sandrita. Agregada ahí. Gracias. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So everybody, let's just continue right now. And uh, let's check the breakout rooms so we can start the conversation right now. Okay. The breakout rooms are available, so please join them. All right. So. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Oscar. Yes, I was telling you that it's okay. You, I got you here on the list. Don't worry. Hello, hello, tell me, how hello, can I help teacher. you? Este, verdad que los, eran tres preguntas como para romper el hielo. That is correct. Okay. Por ejemplo, uh, hello, what time is it? Uh -huh, exactly. ¿Es hacer la pregunta o hacer la respuesta? Tres respuestas. No, I mean, uh, remember that uh, the, the question there, it says, eh, hay que responder esas tres preguntas. La primera era, uh -huh. ¿qué tanto tiempo, este, qué, qué oh. tan seguido eh, asistes a seminarios? Eh, si es fácil para ti socializar en los eventos. Y la última, ¿qué tan a, menu o qué tan a menudo tú rompes el hielo? All right. O oh, perdón, perdón. It's not how often, it's how do you usually. O sea, que, ¿cómo normalmente rompes el hielo? ¿Cómo lo rompes? Uh -huh. Ok. Exacto. Solo esas tres nada más. Exacto. Solo respuesta a las tres. Respuesta okay. a las tres, exacto. Thank you, teacher. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Ya la voy, a, ya la voy a reportar a Raúl y su jefe con el Lic Francisco. What happened? Hola, teacher. Este pleito. All right, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Este, solo es de responder las preguntas, ¿verdad? That is correct. Right. Una Individualmente que... o entre los tres. En este caso. Cada uno de su propia respuesta. So you can have the conversation here. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es la respuesta de Sandra? ¿Cuál es la tuya y la de Daniel? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Entonces, primero, este, y las preguntas las tienen ahí a la mano. Yo no lo capturé la pantalla. My God, yo se las pongo aquí para que. You can actually take the screenshot now. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, wait, wait. Listo. All right, thank you. Gracias. Oh, 
Okay. Vaya. Entonces comenzamos la primera. Es, significaba... Ahí voy. A poner el... ¿Qué tan a menudo vamos a seminarios? Uh -huh. Hola, hola. Uh -huh. Hola, teacher. So tell me, what's the question you have? Estamos en la pregunta número tres. tres. De, yes. De ¿Cómo rompemos el hielo? Uh -huh. Entonces, este... Eh, Marta me decía de que una de las actividades de ella es realizar dinámicas. Entonces estamos preguntándonos cómo se escribe. Ah, ok. No problem. So it's the word uh, dynamic. Ya se las escribo aquí. Va, por favor. Por right. favor. Dynamic. Like that. Mm, ok. Dynamic. Dynamic. Uh, y, es, y, y si le ponemos el verbo sería to realize, no no, because realize means darse cuenta so we can say like to do to do to do, to do a okay. dynamic to mm -hmm. do a dynamic, ok All right. Teacher, no realize to do es darse cuenta Correct. Es Erlin, ¿en qué momento está yo aquí, Erlin? Ay, yo no me había fijado que estaba Erlin. Lo mismo me pasó ayer con, en el otro grupo. <risa> All right. No Erlin, sabía eso. No nos dice nada, Erlin. Ajá, <risa> y yo pensé que solo éramos dos. Ajá, sí, pensamos Ay, que no. solo las dos estábamos. No, me costó entrar, no, no quería entrar el teléfono, no sé por qué. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ah, pues por eso. El internet está mal. Ah, bueno. Ok. Bueno, continúe, le iba a preguntar algo, ya lo interrumpí. No, no, yo solo estaba preguntando por Realize, nada más. Yes, darse <risa> cuenta, correct. Ajá, darse cuenta. Realize, darse cuenta, ok. Uh -huh. Bye. Entonces, Erling, una de sus actividades para romper el hielo. Ah, bueno, la más común es este hacer una broma, comenzar mm. por, no sé, por ejemplo, quiero ver, que así como dicen, ¿qué está pasando aquí? <risa> <risa> o algo así, o what's going on here. <risa> oh, bueno, depende también este el... el la forma de cómo, cómo qué tan formal sea la, la reunión, ¿verdad? But in English, mm. ¿verdad? Ah. Sí. Yeah. It depends. Ajá. It depends that the, y how, how could be the, the, the meet. The meeting, la reunión. Ah, sí, the meeting. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Sí, eso pienso yo. Uh -huh. That's what you're right. Yeah. All right. If you need help, yeah. let me know. Hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Tell me, how can I help you, please? Por ahí tuvimos un problemita que no le tomamos captura, teacher. Oh my God, no me dicen. Ahorita se las comparto aquí. Gracias. All right. ¿Did you check it? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So start Thank practicing. You, y si tienen questions, let me know, ¿verdad? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, hoy sí las tenemos. Boxes for partnership companies. Hello. Hello, teacher. Do you Hello, teacher. Do you need help, vocabulary, or anything? Uh, or... Yes, a vocabulary, um, carb, cardboard. 
car cardboard. Cardboard. What do you mean? Uh, no lo sé. A veces me trago para pronunciarla. ¿Qué palabra <laughs> es? I'm sorry. Uh, es... Dice we factory cardboard. Car cardboard. cardboard. Como cardboard. Cardboard, like, like cartulina. Ah, okay. Cartulina, uh -huh. uh huh? So, yes, it's cardboard. 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 Yeah. And head, head, headquarters. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It would be something similar to, like, for example, like the pronunciation, right? Head. Uh huh. What is something okay. like that? Okay, ah, uh, headquarters. Okay, headquarters. Headquarters. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any additional question? Eh, veo que tenemos a Ana Luisa también. Ella solo está como oyente, Batiche. Correct. She's going to participate only listening so you can continue with your, with your answers. All right? Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Thank Excellent. You. Good evening, Ana Luisa. <clears throat> okay, Batiche. Este, empezamos de nuevo. All right. Okay. Okay. Eh, my, name, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, teacher. You finished here? Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Or do you have questions? No? No, teacher. Me falta no. la última. Mí. Ah, va. Good. Excellent. Voluntario dice. All right. So, <laughs> all right. If you need help or if you have any questions, let me know, right? Ese botoncito de ayuda para que me puedan llamar, all right? Thanks, teacher. All right. Make a... Uh, talk about the weather and to make a dynamic. 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 Teacher. Hello. Teacher, mm -hmm. how, how do you say tortillas? Tortillas. No. <laughs> it's, it's a proper word in Spanish. It doesn't have translation. But tortilla. in English, no existe el sonido de la doble L. So, se pronuncia como tortilla. Ah, ah. <laughs> tortilla. Tortilla. Ah, pues sí, bien, bien dijo Erling que era algo así. Tortilla. <laughs> Tortilla. Tortilla. All right. Ready? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Excellent. So, in three more minutes, terminamos en tres minutos más. ¿Están listos? Yes. We are ready. All right. Excellent. So, you can be volunteers. Yes. All right. Practice. All right. So. Okay. Okay. Le vamos a preguntar a Erly las... Ah. Las... All right. Erling, do you often attend seminars? Fine. Hello. Hello, teacher. Questions? En la, terce, en la tercera, teacher, solamente uh -huh. que, eh, por ejemplo, nosotros estamos platicando ahí con unos muchachos de... Sería así como hacer un comentario, por ejemplo, hacer un comentario sobre el tema que se está dando. Uh -huh. yeah. Necesariamente uh -huh. tiene que ser del tema, ¿verdad? Porque como si está en un seminario. Ya. Yeah. That could be an option. And how do you say that in English? Sí, a veces en inglés. All right, very good. So let's see. Any other question? No, thank you. No. No? Excellent. So, and to this one, in two more minutes. All right. So, vamos a regresar a la main session. All right. Así que tenemos dos, dos minutos más, two more minutes to practice.
Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi guys, do you finish? You have questions? Yes, teacher. What's the question? Or oh, you finish? We finished, teacher. Excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, so let's do this one. Well, it's time for you to walk back to the main room. So let's just go ahead and uh, go back to the main session so we can start checking the answers. All right. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. No se escucha, teacher. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Of Microsoft. Y yo grite, grite aquí, oh my God. All right, so, well, excellent. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. All right, so, do we have a volunteer? Abner is a volunteer. Oh, and Elizabeth. All right, and Elizabeth. So let me just share the screen so you can see the questions and you can answer here. Tell me, all right? So go ahead, please. Eh, tengo que leer la pregunta y luego la respuesta. I will help you with the questions to tell me the answer, all right? Do you often attend seminars? Yes, uh, twice a year or 40 hours a year. Oh, okay. Is it easy for you to socialize in those events? At those events, I'm sorry. Sometimes. Why? Um, because. Uh, because. Uh, no sé <laughs> bueno, últimamente porque todos son en línea, o sea, no. Ah, okay. How do you say porque son en línea, people? Because are online. Because they are online. Because they are online. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. And let's go with the last question. How do you usually break the ice? Asking about the topic. Okay. Perfect. You see, super easy. You were doing very good, Anna. I like it. I like it. Good job. Good job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Así se puede decir sin el you. How do? Usually. Where? In the third one. It says right there, how do usually? No, it's a typo. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. All right. So... Yes. There you go. No, there's no contraction there. All right. So thank you for paying attention. So um, somebody was actually saying volunteer. Who was it? Erling. Yes. 
All right, Erlene. So let's go ahead and check this one. Do you often attend seminars? Maybe twice a year. All right. Is it easy for you to um, socialize uh, at those events? Um, I think so. No, because I consider myself a uh, uh, easygoing person. Excellent answer. And how do you usually break the ice? Uh, it depends the people that you have in front of you. For example, the, if, the, if, the, if the person is extroverted person, you can do make a prank or, or something like uh, you can ask for the weather or the time. That is correct, exactly, all right? So that's it, Erling, just one observation right there. Remember that you don't say is depend, you said it depends on. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you for participating and for being a volunteer. What about the rest, everybody? Any other volunteer here? Come on, I wanna hear some people, volunteers, please. Oh, no volunteers? Okay, no problem, no problem. All right, so volunteers will be here. All right, the one, the last person who shows me, uh, uh, ta -ta a coin, a coin, a coin, a coin, like this, a coin, mm -hmm. a coin, there you go, Maria. All right, a coin, a coin, a coin, uh -huh. Maria has a coin there, uh huh. The last person who shows me a coin, coins, is the, all right, that's your coin, all right, so good, good, good. They show me a coin, like this one. Show me one in the cameras, uh -huh. Let's see, let's see. Mauricio, no coin, Mauricio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Just write coin, all right. There you go, excellent, so thank you. So that would be Let's say this one, Mauricio, you were the last one. So tell me, Mauricio, let's answer the questions. Do you often attend seminars? Um, two times per year, usually often. All right, very good, excellent. So now tell me, um, is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Um, Yes, it's easy for me to always socially. There you go, excellent. So, and now tell me, um, how do you usually break the ice? Always it's about the topic or sport. Or sports, exactly, that's a, new, that's a good one. It's talking about sports, it's a very good one. All right, excellent, thank you. Good job and thank you for participating. Now let's see. Another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Everybody here, volunteer, volunteer. Let me see. No volunteer, no problem. So my next volunteer will be the last person who types in the chat. How do you say this in English? What is this? Yes, yes, no Abner, it's not a pencil. All right, so that's correct, that's correct, that's correct, that's correct. Maria, you're the last one at the moment, all right. Oh, Mauricio ran again, but Mauricio just participated, all right. So Maria, 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 all right, so it's you. Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. Do you often attend seminars? Uh, yes, twice a year. Okay, excellent. And is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Um, it's not easy for me because I am a cheap person. A shy person. A shy person. <laughs> there you go, excellent. So, and how do you usually break the ice? Uh, it, it depends on the people you have in front or 
talk with you. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Exactly. That's right. Thank you. All right, everybody. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, helping me with those questions. So you were doing a very good job with your ideas and participating in the activities as well. All right. So now let's see the following right here. All right. So let's see this one right here in uh, one second. Okay. Oops. So let's just try this again. All right, everybody, let's go to your manual so we can actually continue with this one right here, all right? So if this is in your manual, this is activity number two, we're practicing this one right here. And let's see here, oops, move it too much. There you go. How do usually, all right. Uh, there is activity number two, all right? So it's about you reading this one right here. We are going to practice this here together, all right? I will read it for you first, and then you are going to repeat it later, all right? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Enix have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And uh, where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Uh, regarding the name of the company, since this is an um, abbreviation right here, so we can go like INEX, or if it is difficult, so we can just go like um, INEX, all right? Exactly. All right. So then leyó, we mi, have... leyó mi mente, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Le iba a preguntar eso. Gracias. You're welcome. All right. So then we could go for two words right here. Manufacture. But everybody, manufacture. Manufacture. There you go. And what is manufacture? Do you know that? Mm. Uh -huh. Manufacturar. Manufacturar, basically fabricar, if you want to say it like that. All right, so that is correct. And um, what about the next one that we have right here, which is this one? Everybody repeat it with me. Branches. 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 There you go, Branches. excellent. Branches. All right, so very good. What is the branch? Mm -hmm. Branch. 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 That is correct, all right? Uh, you know, it's a place like, for example, we have a Papa John's and you have different branches, a branch in Metro Centro, Galerias, Plaza Mundo, etc. right? So the branch is right here. And uh, then there's another one, which is this one right here, headquarters. Repeat everybody, headquarters. 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 Boy, right. Excellent. So in what is a headquarters? that is correct right it's like the main the main the main company i mean the like the place or where, where a company has the main office you know it's like say for example i don't know oh do you know almacen Siman people yes you know that almacen Siman has different branches metro centro santa ana sonsonate soyapango etc right but where is the headquarters El headquarters de Simán está en Galerías, for example. All right, so I sent her their offices. All right, that's the headquarters. All right, very good, excellent. So after repeating that or after checking this, people, do you have any question with the vocabulary, the pronunciation? Sí, mi teacher. Tell me. Here the quarters, Spanish. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, the quarter, the traductions. Oh, headquarters. All right, Maria, can you help me with that one? You said it. Sede. Thank you. Okay. All right, excellent, excellent. Headquarters, remember, Mauricio. All right, so let's see. Any other question? Vocabulary? What is, what is? Cardboard, 
cardboard. Cardboard, it could be cartulina, or it can be, in this case, carton. Caja de carton. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Any other um, word that you don't know? No problem. Excellent. So then I need two volunteers right now to be Rick and Jack. Who can help me with this dialogue, people? No volunteers? Me, uh, teacher. Thank you, Maria. Now, any other volunteer? Anna Elizabeth. Thank you, Maria and Anna Elizabeth. Go ahead. Hey, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for I N E X. What yes. does I, I need in do? Huh? <laughs> no finish. Yes, the, uh, again. <laughs> again, 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 again. Okay, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for I N E X I N C. What does I need in do Jack? We manufacture cardboard box for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Branches. Yes, I do. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? Headquarters. They, they in Panama. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. All right. So uh, you were doing a very good job. Thank you, Anna, and thank you, Maria, for participating. That was super good. Let's just try to, uh, as a recommendation, girls, so I can just give you here to uh, improve a little bit your um, intonation. All right. So what do I mean by the intonation? Remember, when you listen to someone speaking English, there is a melody that you can follow, right? For example, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INEX Inc. All right. So just to give you an example, let me listen to this again. Maria, Maria, I want you to repeat the first one. My name is okay. Rick. Nice to meet you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Super different, right? So that was actually very good, All right? Anna. Um, let's see this one, the same question, my, the same sentence. My name is Rick, nice to meet you. My name is Rick, nice to meet you. Amazing, Anna, that was super good, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, girls. Good job, good job. Thank you, all right, volunteers, volunteers? Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Excellent, Irma and Abner, all right? Ignacy as well, and then Mauricio, okay. Let's do something. Okay. My uh, name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I Jack, I work for A N E X N. What what does INEX in to Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. That was actually super good. Irma and uh, Abner. No, what's Abner? Yes, right? Excellent. All right. Just remember this one, the pronunciation of this word right here that you could see here. It's not going to be I, it is it. All right. It, it, it. Then everybody else, it was actually correct and good. Thank you very much. You did it good. Now it's time for uh, Nancy and who's going to be? Oh, Abner? Or Mauricio? Mauricio. Oh, Mauricio. All right. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead, please. Okay. Mm. Yes. Comienza entonces. Right. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I have worked for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture carton boxes for packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have... Lo siento. <laughs> no problem. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, well, we repeat. Um, oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have their manufacturing branch in the country. Um, and where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Thank you very much. You were doing an amazing job, right? Even though with the interruption, right? So, but that was super good, good, good. All right, good job. Nice intonation, by the way. And now let's see, one couple more and then we finish. Two people more. Volunteer, volunteer? No volunteers? If not, okay. Jose Francisco, thank you. Anybody else? Hello, hello. Excellent, William. Oh, I have three, William and Daniel. All right. Well, Daniel and Jose. Okay. All right, so okay. I guess. Let's see. Empiezo yo. Go ahead. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mm -hmm. nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for I-N-E-X-I-N-C. What does Inex in Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the courses? Headquarters? Headquarters, yes. Headquarters. They're in Panama. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good job. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for participating, guys. You were doing an amazing job here. Let's just continue here and let's review this one. So we're going to work first in the um, activity number two. All right. So take a look at this one. Activity number three, I'm sorry. All right. This one right here. Now, let's see. It says right here, what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Practice the expanded conversation with the partner. All right, so let's see. The conversation that we have here, this one that we just practice, needs to continue, all right? And to continue with the conversation, you have to create two questions to continue with this, all right? so. The ultimo, the last part here, it says they are in Panama. All right. So what other question could you ask to the conversation? Uh-huh. ¿Qué más preguntas le podemos hacer a Rick para que la conversation continue? So, in other countries, what do you do? Okay, very good. So let's see this one right here. Could be an example. All right, do you sell, what do you say? Oh, okay. What? Do you sell in other countries? Do you sell products in another country? Okay, excellent. So that could be an example, right? And also what other example can we use here? Do you like to work for INEX? Oh, that's another <laughs> one. Do you like to work for 
IMAX. All right, excellent, thank you. So you see, we Did have three examples right here. And the rest, what questions Did you would you ask on the weekends? conversation? I'm sorry? Do you rest on weekends? Okay, do you rest on weekends? All right, very good. That's another question. Do you rest on weekends? What else? How oh, can I do to send the CV? Okay, that's interesting. So you wanna apply, all right, to that company. All right, so you know what? I understood the reference, right? So you said like, how can I do to send the CV, right? But I, the, another question it would be like, you know, more common in English, it could be this one. How can I apply? Um, yes, yes. There, I. You got it. All right, great, excellent. So let's see. Any other? Hello, hello. What other question can you use here? Mm -hmm. Yes or no. Okay, come on, people, give me the questions, please. <laughs> All right. Has INEX a good environment? Okay, the job environment. How is the job environment? Will be another one. Uh -huh. Let's write it down so you can see it. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, we're going to put it here. How is the job environment? All right, good, excellent. Another question that we can ask people. How about the salary? That's amazing and super interesting question, all right? So there you go. How about the salary? There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh huh. One more. One more, please. Mm -hmm. When do you have the vacations? Mm, okay. Very good. Let's do this one right here. When you have vacations? When do you have vacations? When do you have vacations? Once a year, for example. All right. So. Good, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see this one right here. All right, Nancy, do me a favor. Ask the questions to me so I can continue with the conversation. Estas questions que acabamos de crear todos. Okay. Do you sell products in another country? Yes, we do. We sell products in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Costa Rica. Another question. Please. Excuse me, estaba en mute. Uh, <laughs> me pasa, interesting. Me pasa, do you like to work for INIX? Yes, I love working for INIX because it's a great company. Mm, I am... Um, how can I apply there? You can send your CV to a human resources email. Mm, okay, but how about the salary? Oh, they pay a very good salary, $500. Okay, I am excited. <laughs> okay, excellent, thank you. You see? Now, with those questions that we created, we can have a conversation here. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, now, let me just check this one right here. All right. Nancy, select someone. Please. Uh, que seleccione a alguien. Yes, please. Okay. A Erling. <laughs> okay, Erling. All right. So. And now, Erlin, you are going to select someone else. So, okay. Uh, let me check. Mira, Irma, mejor um, apago la cámara. All right, so. Don't turn off the camera. <laughs> Irma, turn the camera off. Oh. 
Who? Jose Francisco Ordóñez. Ok. All right, all right. Mr. Jose Francisco <laughs> Ordóñez, you, Jose, are going to ask the questions. And Erling, you are going to give the answers. Okay? Okay. okay. Please go ahead, uh, guys. Erling, uh, do you like to work for Enix? Yes, I like to work by by Enix. For oh, it's a very good. I like to work uh, for Enix because it's a very good company to work. Great. Uh huh. Another question. Solo esa teacher. <laughs> Hola. Continue with more questions, Jose. Uh, do you do you say product in another country? Remember, Jose? Yes. Sell. Sell. Okay. Yes. yes, we have branches in a lot of countries. For example, we have uh, branches of for in in El Salvador. Uh, we have in in Guatemala, in Honduras. Yeah. Okay. Is that? Okay. Uh, how about the salary? The salary is very good because you can earn a lot of money over here. Okay, thank you. Great, yeah, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, guys, that's actually very good. So you see, you can continue a conversation, uh, you know, with more questions here. Now, eh, Jose, select someone, and Erling, select someone else. Please. Okay, let me, let me check. Uh, Maria Epifania. <laughs> yes, Maria. All right, and <laughs> Jose? Um, uh, ahorita, teacher, ahorita, ahorita. Uh, David Inocente. All right, David, are you here, David? Um, uh, Oscar Humberto está oyente también, ¿verdad? Yes. Bueno, a Giovanni Laínez. Ok. Mr. Laínez. Ok. All right. Uh, Mr. Laínez, you are going to ask the questions and Maria is going to give the answer. All right. Ok. Go ahead. Do you like where you are working? Yes, I like work in this company because it's better and I have a good co-workers. I have good co-workers, um, all right. Um, they work weekends. What? And they work weekends. Uh, we are working on Monday until Friday to seven o'clock at five o'clock p.m. Okay. ¿Cómo sería, teacher, van a decir ganas bien? You heard, you you heard well. The, you can use the question that is there, eh, Giovanni. How about the salary? Uh, how do you salary? Uh, the salary is very good because they, they are payment for around $800 a month. There you go. Wow, okay. Excellent. Okay. A lot of money. Thanks. I want to work there too. <laughs> <All right>. so, <laughs> that's so. awesome. Um, thank you. You are doing a very good job. Just remember here, a uh, recommendation. How to say de lunes a viernes? It will be from Monday. Monday From to Monday Friday. to Friday. Exactly, right? And, uh, oh my God, I forgot how to say this in Spanish. Guys, how to say, for example, días hábiles could be días, like, días de oficina, días de trabajo. All right, so weekdays, from Monday to Friday, all right? And se puede weekdays. decir weekdays. Uh, like on weekdays. Okay. Esos weekdays, okay. sabemos que son from Monday to Friday, ¿verdad? Also, there you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me with this activity as well. So let's just continue with the next one right here. And it's going to be, 
the activity that we have right here. So it's going to be for this one, the number three. All right. So number three, number three. There you go. Number three. So it says right here. Oops. There's no number three. It moves right here. Oh my God, people, my computer is not cooperating tonight. <laughs> right. So let's do this one. It's this one that we have right here. Do you see it now? The one that says number four. Number four, number four, number four, number four, number four. That one, all right? So this one, this one, this one, this one. So let's see, number four. Do you see it? Yes? Okay, so let's see yes. this one quickly right here. It says, pair work list three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters, all right? So for example, do you remember a couple of minutes ago, I was talking about Simang, all right? So I can say this one right here, Simang. Well, I'm a Simang. All right. Branches. So you can see here, um, how many branches of Simán do you know? So we can say here, for example, Metro Centro. Metro Centro. Okay. Metro, we're gonna have a Metro, Trasamundo. Galerías. Galerías, La Gran Vía, La Gran Vía. All right. So we go to this one right here. And what is the headquarters? Headquarters is? Galerías. All right, excellent. So that's what you need to do. Can you mention other companies like this one? So for example, the company's name, Amazon Simán. The branches, Metro Centro, Plaza Mundo, La Gran Vía, and the headquarters, Galerías. This is my example. What about your examples, people? What Super companies? Selectos. Companies? Uh -huh. Super Selectos. Super Selectos, teacher. Okay, very good. So let me help you with this one right here. So we can have here, Super Selectos. All right, give me the name of three branches here. Plaza Mundo. Okay. Okay, Metro Plaza Mundo. Centro. Metro. Metro Centro, Multiplaza. Okay, Multi, ajá. Uh -huh. um, todos lados, right? So very ten. good. Yes, like this one. Metro Centro, um, Multiplaza. Um, what else, what else? Uh, Nervio. Nervio. All right, excellent. And the headquarters, where are they? La Olimpica. Olimpica. Exactly. All right. La Olimpica. Very good. Excellent. Uh huh. Another company. Another company, people? Hello? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, that's actually correct. All right, let me write it right here. Okay, okay, so it's just like, wait, what happens? Huh, all right, there you go, excellent. So it says, Pizza Hut. Okay, what the hell? That's Pizza Hut. Uh huh. Branches? Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Metro. Plaza Mundo. Plaza, Plaza Mundo. Mundo. Galería. Dale. Uh huh. San Luis. San Luis. I don't know that's San Luis people, the pizza. All right. So, <laughs> the US. All right. Ah, yeah, the US. All right. It's true. It's true. It's true. US. Very good. And then you go on this one right here in the headquarters. Uh huh. I don't know. You don't know? Yes or no? USA. <laughs> USA, all right, because this one is an American company, all right, so that is correct. So the headquarters is going to be here, 
all right, in the USA. Okay, excellent. So thank you guys. So you actually help me with this one. That's just to understand, you know, que es una branch y que es un headquarters. Very good. Excellent. Questions? No questions? Okay, so let's just continue with the next activity here. And it's going to be this one. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. We have this one. So we have some questions and here. It says, um, this one, oh, Rupo Rolet, I mean, it's actually another one, like I say here. All right, it says, match the product service to the corresponding industry type. Check the answers with the partner, it says right here, but we're going to do it together right now, okay? So let's see, a banks, it says here that the bank, it's the finance industry, all right? So, this one is companies. Yes, that's like industria pertenecen. That's actually what it says right here. So, for example, soft drinks. What is the soft drinks here, people? What can this be? Frescos. Right. So, so where would you actually add here? A, B, C, D, F, H, H the beverage industry. That is correct. So, it's going to be number. Two, okay. Well, let me check it out here so we can use this one. Two, there you go. Excellent. Uh huh. Number three, guy tours. Volunteer? G. G. I no, I, 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 I. Exactly. Why? Because it's about tourism. There you go. Excellent. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, the cardboard boxes. G. The packing industry. There we go. So we go this one. Uh huh. Uh, buildings. Get some building. B. B. Edificio. There we go. Thank you. So we got the construction company right here. Oops, it's five. There you go. Uh, what about mobile phones? D. D. Letter D. Thank you, everybody who participated. That's going to be uh, six. Okay, excellent. So what about medicine? J. 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 J like me, JJ. All right, so J. it says here, uh, number it's seven, right? Excellent. F. And now we go with car components. F. 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 Letter F. Uh, and that's more with industrial. Excuse me? You say more forms than. Hair salon services? Letter A. A. All right. There you go. And finally, number 10. C. C. There you go. Excellent. So let's see. And then you find it. Excellent. Very good job, guys. This is super important because I can see that you recognize the vocabulary, right? So you know the differences and you know, you know, to, I mean, how to associate that. Good job. Good, good, good job. All right. Excellent. So let's see right now, right? Okay, so it goes this one. Okay, so let's go with the next activity here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we have some words here. And it says this one. Everybody, let's read the instruction together, right? Read the instruction together. It says right here, write a sentence to describe the expertise, sorry, expertise, and the industrial classification of the business below. Share your sentences with a partner. So for example, it says here, take a look at this one people right here. It says here, refresh and leave, right? At refresh and leave, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the, and it says here, beverage industry okay so like this one 
And what is the next one right here? Let's see if we can do it. Entendemos que vamos a hacer. So, ese es el nombre de la compañía. Y luego, a qué eh, industria ustedes creen que pertenece este company that we have here. So, refreshing leave. Pertenecen a la industria de. What is beverage? Yes. Bebidas. Bebidas. Right. So, Bebidas. Good. Bebidas. So now then we have fix and care. What does it come to your mind? Or what do you think when you see fix and care? Sister. Excuse me? Fix and care? Seguros. Seguros? So it will be like finance industry, construction, beauty and personal care industry. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Una compañía que se llame Fix and Care, ¿de qué industria crees que puede ser? Beauty. Beauty. Yeah, right? Yeah, Fix and Care. All right, excellent. So, and you go on this one. Entonces, ¿cómo dirías en esto? All right, so, ¿qué hace Fixing Care? ¿Qué distribuye Fixing Care? Here, so, here, so, here, so, here, so, here, all right, excellent. So, and then what can we actually enter here, people? Mm -hmm. So, it will be like. Yeah, to flu. Uh, Beauty and facial care, care product. Mm -hmm. We. We. Distribute. Um, what? Beautiful products. Beauty products. Beauty and facial car products. We yes. are in the where? What what is it like the industry? Ah. In the uh, beauty and personal care industry. industry. Oops, we can't check it anymore. It says here, beauty industry. Industry. Okay, excellent. So it's this one, enjoy and travel. Who can give an example for enjoy and travel? Tourism. Tourism, all right. And who can tell me the sentence? Mm -hmm. At enjoying travel. Yes. Uh huh. And enjoying travel. Continue. We distribute. Distri uh, distribute. 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 Tourism. Mm. Let's see this one. Let's see this one right here. What is this one? Uh, uh, the tourist industry. Guide tours, all right? In the tourism industry, that's right. All right, so let's just continue with this one. Business and bank. Mm -hmm. Business bank, what is it, people? Hello? Banco de negocios. Un banco de negocios. Entonces, like this one. Bye. Remember, aquí estaban los, los, los servicios que estas, estas companies proporcionan. Y luego aquí. Finanzas. All right. Finanzas. Pertenece a finanzas, pero ¿qué ofrece yeah. un like, bank? The All right. Finances. Uh -huh. 
credit cards, or financial products. Exactly, that's the correct word. Financial products. Ahí va de todo. All right. So, eh, ajá. Y a dónde pertenece Business Bank? Financial. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. Now, people, the Sun Resort. ¿De dónde es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Un resort. What is a resort? Hotel. That's a hotel. It's a hotel. Exactly right. What do you think they offer? Uh -huh. It stays. All right. So you go on this one. Stays. Oops. All right. Stays in the key industries. Tourism. 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 All right. Excellent. So you guys do it correctly. All right. Yes. 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 All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the time for you to um practice, right? And participate with this one. So we're going to be working in this specific activity that we have right here. All right. So it says here. Prepare a two-minute conversation about your companies, the company where you work. All right. Describe the company's expertise, expertise, sorry, its industrial classification and location, headquarters, branches, where it operates, excuse me, where it operates, and so on. All right. So, for example, what, what, are, what are we going to do here? It's this one. All right. So... Las companies que mencionaron, for example, before, Super Selectus, all right? So, Super Selectus, all right? So, ¿de qué, eh, qué ofrecen ellos? Uh -huh. De todo me van a decir. All right, so, uh -huh. ¿Qué ofrece Super Selectus, people? Uh -huh. Supermarket. It's a supermarket, very good. So, it's a supermarket. Entonces, ahí... La oración quedaría de la siguiente manera. Uh, let me check the chat right here. So, Super Selectos. Super Selectos is a supermarket. And, ajá, uh -huh, siguiendo este example right here, they are, ¿en qué industria estarían ellos? Uh -huh. De estas industrias de aquí, ¿cuál le queda a ellos? Mm. What do you think? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, packing, packing. Package industry. Package industry. Uh -uh. Porque eso es como de empacar. Oh, beverages. Beverages. Si fueran solo de bebidas, probably. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We can actually say in another one that is on here, in the food industry, porque la mayoría de los products que venden son about food, right? Could be, okay? So for example, eh, quiero hacer un example con una de sus compañías para que you understand correctly y ahí se pueden ir a practicar about this one, all right? Who wants to uh, check her, I mean, their company? Let's see. Any volunteer to talk about their company? Mm -hmm. Come on, people. Why are you so shy? All right. So talk sure. about the company. Um, my company, Artepal, is company that manufactures electric uh, equipment belongs okay. to the industrial R, R, area. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they are in the what industrial industry now right telecommunications construction maybe um, mm -hmm. yeah hi yeah tell me <laughs> in cuero podemos poner ahí son eh, su equipo eléctrico right Yes, teacher. All right. So, ¿dónde se usa ese equipo eléctrico, for example? Mm. 
pues en construction maybe yes let's say construction all right so yes. all right what time is maybe in the telecommunications all right excellent thank you very much so we are going to continue here all right and we are going to uh, practice this um quickly right here with our partners in the rooms all right so tú vas a presentar tu um you know pequeña presentación para que redundancia right so you're going to have your own presentation about your company no se les olvide también algo que es super important it's no solamente eh, a qué se dedica la company y a qué industria pertenece sino también hablar de la ubicación location right donde está el headquarters, si hay branches y donde opera. Y opera en El Salvador, en El Salvador, where, en Santa Ana, en Sonsonate, en The Country, etc. Right? So, understand? Podemos utilizar la conversation that we have here before en el exercise number two para poder hacer como un pequeño role play, right? Así como que digamos, hello, William, hi, Mauricio, how are you? Y empezamos like between you, hablando de sus compañías, for example. Understand, people? Okay. Yes. Los demás, entendemos qué vamos a hacer. Hello. Yes, teacher. Great. Excellent. So, if that's the case, yes. everybody, let's go to the breakup rooms. So, to this one right here. There you go. Everybody, please join the breakup room so we can practice this last activity. Vamos, everybody. Estas no son las actividades de ahora, así que démosle. Right? So, easy, easy, easy. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Join the rooms, please. Vamos here, Maurice Serrano, whatever long. Hello, everybody else. Veamos. David, Erlin, Luis Humberto. Please join the rooms. Sonia, join the room. Andrea Milet, join the room. Raul Mauricio Ramirez, if you can join the room. Hello, Sandra. Negativo, negativo, teacher. ¿Qué pasó, mi friend? Pasar? What happened? No oh, sé. Okay. Es que esto no, no fíjate, está dando problema. Es really? que le dije bien raro. My goodness. Que le vaya bien. All right. We will see, we will see. Room six. Los demás, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Give me a second. Right. I was trying to sing it to a different uh, room so you can practice with somebody else. All right. I guess Abner is available in room number five. So let's see. Go to room number five, please. All right, Apner, you can practice here. All right, just checking that you were working. Okay. I select, um, for example, Pizza Hut. Okay. Okay. 
what uh, what do they offer? Eh, entiendo que dijo que, que ofrecen ellos. Yes, that is correct. Okay, sorry. Uh, food food products. Okay, food products. So you can say they sell pizzas or pastas, right? Yeah. And All for right. example, you can describe the company. Uh, it offers quality quality food and and family as not here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Exactly. That could be. Okay. Y luego les que hemos de que industry son. So they are from the okay. food industry, for example. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. You got it perfectly. No problem. I'll be back. <laughs> Describe the company. Do you understand the, the activity or not? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And describe the company's expert expert. ¿Cómo se pronuncia expertise? Expertise. 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 Expert expertise Hola. a ver si aquí estaba el, el, el translator en estas dos students a ver uh, expertise o expertise ¿qué dicen ustedes? expertise creo que es Expertise. Ya vieron, no me creían. Expertise. 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 Estaba en Expertise. español ese lado. All right, so. Expertise. 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 Classification. The classification is... Um, like the, what industry are they? For example, they are from the food industry, the no, tourism we industry. Self, we are self part for sewing machines. So for manufacturer. Manufacturing. All right. Manufacturing. What do you sell? I'm sorry, Maria. Uh, we are selling papers for sewing machines. Partes para máquinas de coser. Parts. Parts. Uh -huh. So that would be like the industry, the industrial company. Uh -huh, industrial company. Industry, okay. It's an industrial, sorry, industry. Industrial industry. Yes. All right. So. Okay. Solo una va a decirlo, teacher. No, usted también. Usted es la primera, by the way. Yes. Yes. I know you, no. Ya me dormí, ya tengo sueño. Yes. No. Porque se le quite. All right. El sueño. No. Yes. Ya tenemos volunteer. Eso. La primera. No. Primera. Eso. No, 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 dicho. Lo que pasa es que ahí yo trabajo junto con Mari, entonces. Ah. Ahí a la paz. Right. No. Yo se le quite el sueño, eh. Teacher, right. no, porque ella participa poco, entonces a ella pongan la habla. No es cierto, yo cada rato paso ahí, ay, levantando la manita. Ay, para, para apagar la cámara. Ajá, exacto, cuando dicen selecciona a alguien. Ay. Mm. Me ay. levanté por agua, fíjense. Ah. There you go. Um, ya vamos a ver qué dice que pone ahí Mari. <risa> en serio, si trabajamos ahí mismo, entonces... Lo mismo vamos a poner. Ah, pues participa entonces Irma, right? No, si ahí le estoy, le estoy dando las ideas. Ah. <laughs> All right, no problem. So I will go to another group right now, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Woo, hello. Ah, I have the image here, hombre. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hello, teacher. Hasta durmiendo estaba ya Carla, Milena, o sea, sleeping. No, es que Raúl me dijo que estaba, bueno, me puso que está conduciendo. Oh, okay, excellent. So, uh -huh. have you talked, have you talked about like the exercise about the company that you are going to talk about? What is your company? Banco Bank. Banco Bank, all right. So it is a bank, right? Sí. All right. Uh -huh. and, tengo... In what industry are they? Financial. Industry. Industry. All uh, right. How many branches do you have? Um, can I ver? 
Ten. <laughs> Ten. All right. Excellent. Ten. Can you mention three of them? San, um, Santa Ana. I work in Santa Ana. Okay. Um, Sonsonate, Aguachapan, Metapan. Okay. Good. Um, excellent. Soyapango. And more. Exactly. And what is the headquarters? Um, Spatium is in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Okay. La Libertad. Excellent. So that's actually what I was talking about. Perfect. Volunteer, entonces. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So we are going to go back to the um, main session so we can listen to some options. All right. Thank okay. you. And good job, Carla. You were doing super good. Okay, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. We are going to wait for the other people to return to this um, room here. And in the meantime, Carlita, it's going to, um, you know, give us an example, Carlita, Carlita Lopez. <laughs> All right, so. So let's talk about um, your company, Corita, please. Um, at Banco a Bank, we, ¿cómo se dice distribuir? <laughs> uh, distribute. Distribute. At Banco a Bank Company, we distribute financial products. Yes, uh -huh. As credits to employees and yeah. merchants of small and medium-sized companies. Um, we also have different types of savings accounts. Um, yes. We are in the finance industry. Financial industry. Financial industry. Exactly. Super good. All right. You were doing a very good job. Thank you, Carlita. Now, Carlita, because you were my first volunteer, now you are going to select the next person. Ay, qué nervios. Uh -huh. A ver. Um... Ah, para la cámara, Irma. <ríe> um... <ríe> Irma. <ríe> right. okay. Ya vengo, voy a traer agua. <ríe> Ajá. All right, so tell me, Irma, tell me, tell me. Ok. Uh, hello, how are you? Hello, bueno, lo estás haciendo con Mari, entonces, hello Mari, how are you? Um, I work at SI Sewing Supply. It is a manufacturing company that imports spare parts. We we are location in the we free zone. Located. Mm -hmm. Ah, located. Um, we are located in the free zone. Zona Franca Santa Tecla. Right. Uh, we are an expert company in part for sewing machine mm -hmm. that sets to grow international. Okay. Thank you. And that's it. What industry is it? What for industry? industrial company. Industrial oh. company. Ah. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. It was actually super, super good. All right. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Any other volunteer? No volunteers? No? Any idea? Oh, Alexa. Hello, Alexa. Hello, how are you every day? Hello, Alexa. Hi, good uh, to see you. So tell us, what, talk about your company, please. Okay, uh, I work in MSC. MSC is a shipping company, it's a services company. Uh, MSC is all over the world. In El Salvador, MSC located in the Escalon neighborhood. And MSC is a company that was born in the uh, 
oh my god that was actually a very nice job a lot of information i like it so an applause an applause definitely 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 right so that was actually super good <laughs> thank you teacher. you're welcome all right thank you any other volunteer mm -hmm. volunteer volunteer mm -hmm. Oh my God, everybody here, please, volunteers. No volunteers. Eh, Mauricio, que era mi compañero, que lo íbamos a decir juntos, pero ahorita eh, lo dije solo yo. Excellent, excellent. Uh -huh. Thank you for selecting the volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> and Mauricio is like, oh my God. All right, so yes, go ahead. Okay. My company is located on the road to the Santa Ana municipality of the Ciudad Arce. Hey, and, and Sorry. What do the company, what does the company do? I guess they dedica a la company. Manufacturing. Manufacturing, all right. It tiene branches. Um, yes. Where? Um, in the Salvador. But in what cities? Ciudad Arce. Solo Ciudad Arce. Entonces ahí decimos. Yes. It doesn't have no. branches. Okay. Uh -huh. Que sería no tiene sucursales. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. And let's see this one right here. Select somebody else, Mauricio. Select someone. Oh, picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jose Francisco Ordoñez. Hello, Jose Francisco. Okay, this uh, uh, My company is a group of people. We offer unique, authentic, and quality products to our governor. It's port industry. And the branches are San Miguel and Santa Ana. The hard water is in the Libertad. It's quiet. Sí. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, Excellent. teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent, Jose. Jose. Actually, very good, good, good job. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Nancy or Ana. La última que bloqueé el micrófono. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Ana. All right, so there you go. <laughs> All right, Anna, tell us about your company. My company is Liceo Cristiano. Okay. Uh, we are dedicated to education. Okay. Um, the branches uh, are in Modelo, Ciudad Delgado, eh, Guachapán, Santa Ana, Santa whole country, right? So, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. And the headquarters? Is in San Benito. San Benito. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All the competition okay. aquí. Nancy o Giovanni, el último que prende el micrófono. One, two, three. Ah, mm -hmm. le ganaron Giovanni. All right. So good. Uh, no, si gusta participo yo. Ok, no problem. Ok. Sí. My, eh, my company is Avianca to offer low cost flights with the best customer service. It's air transport industry. The branches are in El Salvador and Colombia mm -hmm. and headquarters is Colombia. Avianca operates in many countries. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually super, super good. All right, thank you. I pretty appreciate it, all right? So that was actually, uh, you know, the whole thing. So people, as you could see, we were able to, um, you know, talk about different things today, all right? A different, uh, talk about, I mean, different uh, information about the company, all right? Eh, ¿Qué palabras aprendimos hoy? Nuevas palabras, ajá. Uh -huh. What words did we learn today? 
Branches. All right. So, uh huh. What else? Headwaters. 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 Very good. What else? Um, cardboard. Cardboard. Okay. Cardboard. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Um, okay, that's another one right here. Okay, excellent. So, and to finish with today's class, people, we're going to go with the self assessment, right? That says, now I can change in for, sorry, I can exchange information about the company's expertise industrial classification and where it operates, all right? So do you think you can do that like independently with occasional help or only with help, all right? So those are going to be, um, you know, the things that we're going to actually answer today. So what do you think here, people? Independently uh, with occasional help, all right? So let me see here. I'm going to put on a poll esta noche, all right? So we're going to finish with this is the last activity, I, I promise, all right? So then we can go home. Well, we are at home already. We couldn't go to sleep, actually, all right? So let's see. Okay, let's see here. So the answer is actually independently, independently, all right, with help. All right, with occasional help or only with help. There you go, excellent. So let's do this one right here. And please, let's use the poll and answer this one. Please, 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 please. Independently with occasional help or only with help. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Yes. I was people. I need more people to answer this. Yes, yes, yes. Solo 13 personas me han contestado. Just 13 people have replied this one. What about the rest? Thank you very much. And let's hit this one here. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we're gonna scope it like here. Thank you, got it. All right, everybody, we're going to stop right here. Remember that, uh, you know, in case you need any help, como lo pudieron ver ahora, si alguien está ahí con alguna pregunta, lo puede hacer en el chat, y ahí yo inmediatamente intervengo, right? So, have a good night, rest, and I'll see you tomorrow, people. La asistencia del final, la voy a verificar con los que están conectados ahorita de último. All right, so thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Bye, right, teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye bye, Sandra. Bye. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye, David. Nice. See you tomorrow. You tomorrow. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.